Hello Read Along members, and thanks for joining us on the Big Big Book Play Network. This is part five of The Death of Superman Read Along. We are on Action Comics number 684. This was also published in December of 1992. I know last time I said that was the last one. I was wrong. Action was as well. This is written by Roger Stern, and the artist is Butch Guis. Um... We pick up right where we left off with Maxima down, and she's being attended to by the Guardian. Uh, Superman is contemplating on, like, what Doomsday is, where he came from, and just his sheer levels of brute strength. He just does not understand where this monster came from. Um, <laughs> he even compares him, goes and compares him to Lobo, and he says that, you know, Lobo has given him some uh, hard times over the years, multiple times. But this guy right here is just on a whole other level. He's like, but Lobo's power, his rage, doesn't even begin to compare to Doomsday's. So yeah, we've seen Superman and Lobo go at it, and it was a pretty good fight, fairly even. And this guy isn't even on the same page as Lobo, so we're looking pretty, pretty rough for Superman, okay? It's kind of with that spelling out. We have a little bit of a, an issue going on. So, we still see more destruction, just like we have in the past. We're wrecking overpasses and, and vehicles and just tearing things apart. So this was an overpass, um, just brings it down. Car is driving on it, he wrecks that, sends the car flying. Thank goodness, Superman is there to save the motorist. And... Um, he finds out that uh, the destruction of the overpass um, through talking to the guy and calming him down. This has got him really riled because then he scans the area and just says he finds no, he sees no survivors among the wreckage. He's really upset about this and he actually swears here. This is like a curse. He's cursing. He says, damn. And, and I honestly was like, wow, I, this feels off. This feels off for Superman. I just don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm still stuck on that big blue Boy Scout that they always say, but I, I just don't feel like that, that felt off to me. Um, and then that, maybe that was what it was, but then the whole rest of the issue felt off to me too. Just felt like this was not what I was looking for, for Superman. So, but anyhow, we'll get back to the story. Um, Doomsday continues it with his destruction, now destroying a Lexmark, tearing this apart. Um, people endangering innocence, you know, something that Superman is uh, not happy about. But, amongst destroying this Lexmark, he sees an advertisement for, at the Metropolis Arena, for Warbash 9000. It's a wrestling um, show, and it, and it really plays out. The dialogue really plays out like any wrestling promo that I, when I used to watch, or still watch now with my son, my sons, um, and it's great. But the wrestling promo gives Superman his um, opportunity to catch Doomsday off guard. So he comes in and takes it to Doomsday really quickly, um, but like many things, Superman's mildly distracted by, oh, helicopters! That throws the fight right back in Doomsday's favor. He starts... He starts wailing away on Superman, sending him through, and Superman's kind of laying in a pile. Not a, not a usual position we see for Superman. Kind of spread eagle here and just laid right out. Um, not what we normally see. But he's saying to himself, man, I've got to get, I've got to pull myself together here. I, I, I can't let this happen. Um, right at the same time, we see Doomsday kind of laughing. Ha, 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 ha. And he says, Metropolis... And he kind of says it again, and then, but he follows it with Warbash. So, we're getting a little bit of here. He's starting to remember. He's making connection. He's thinking. Something else is happening. So, he is, um, he's putting his connection together. So now, he's getting his main focus is on Metropolis. It was suggested before. It's definitely there now. This enrages Superman, and he says, I've got to pull it together. I've got to do everything I can. I'm stopping him. Metropolis is my home. I can't let this happen. In the meantime, um, back a little, past a little bit, Lex is notified of his uh, 
Lexmart being wrecked. Uh, Supergirl says, I gotta go help him. He again convinces her, no, 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 you don't have to do that. He's kind of hoping that Superman dies. He makes the comment, if Superman ever really needs help, he's always um, survived despite my best laid plans. And it's really funny. Um, <laughs> because he kind of, Superman kind of mentions that later. Like, hey, what's up here with uh, Lex? Supergirl should be coming any time because Lex uh, should be notified of his, um, the, the Lex mark being wrecked and blah, blah, blah. And he goes, but, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if he actually came with an army because he's way more proactive than his dad. And if his old man was still alive, I would think he's the one who created this creature to come get me. So, it's kind of funny. Uh, but Superman's efforts are redoubled. He takes it to Doomsday. He throws him off into an uninhabited area. And he's not really thinking clearly either at this time because he throws him into Project Cadmus area. We see this right here. They're kind of freaking out. Um... But he lands in the area that is called the uh, the habitat, and it was uh, formed by um, Cadmus. Uh, right down here it says the tree city grown by creations of the Cad Cadmus project, um, and he forgot all about this too. So he was endangering people because he he's just singularly focused on stopping Doomsday, not really thinking about anything else. Um, so he kind of gets upset himself here. But luckily it's abandoned, so it's no big deal. He's finding out that he's just not as durable as he, as, as he thought. Doomsday is more durable than him. He's actually getting hurt, hurting himself, punching Doomsday. So he starts using Project Cadmus, the, the habitat, to hit Doomsday. He's cranking, he's hitting him with some trees up here, bringing the whole structure down on top of himself. Um, he avoids this, the wreckage, and Guardian comes in and they have another talk. But, guess what? Doesn't matter. Doomsday blows out of it, jumps away, yelling, Metropolis! And there he goes. Guardian's kind of laid out. Doomsday's laid out, or uh, Superman's laid out, not moving much. And Doomsday is on his way to Metropolis. Ten mile jumps at a time, it looks like. But Doomsday is coming. That's the last. Doomsday is coming. So, that's the end of this issue. Um, yeah. <sighs> this one here, I, I'm going to give this issue of Action Comics a two a 2.5 out of 5. I mean, it's it's barely halfway for me. I, like I said, I think it was the cursing from Superman and just the attitude he had that really threw the book off of me. It happened more than one time in there. And I just felt like it just... Roger Stern, I would have thought action would have been where you're going to get your best Superman. And I just felt like it, it was not our best Superman. Um, the utterance of words. I'm not sure. I can't remember if he ever speaks more Doomsday does than that. I don't know. It just felt a little... I liked him more brainless. More not even speaking. Uh, just an engine of destruction. So I just this was not my favorite issue. But we still have 6 and 7... So hopefully as we go here, we see that the fight increases and the story will pick back up because we're back into um, Man of Steel with Louise Simonson again. So join us next time for Superman Man of Steel number 19, part 6. Thanks for watching.